and music TV don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit that share button got some great content for y'all got some great content today let me see Bob Marley concrete jungle have you heard it have you heard it the first time I heard this song man so for those of you that don't know, my I didn't even know too much about about Bob Marley because I was uh I was on his son Damian Marley. I was listening to Damian Marley a whole bunch. So I knew that was his dad, but I didn't know I heard about Bob Marley, I heard about Bob Marley, and then my homegirl, she had put me on and uh she said, You should check him out, check him out. And it's so crazy. I even know how big he was. Cause when I was little, it was, I was mostly listening to rap, rap and R and B. I wasn't really into. Now take that back. So I heard about reggae because my first group I ever heard was Still Pulse. Still Pulse. My dad and them they used to bump that all the time. Still Pulse was the band. They almost sound like the Wailers, but they sound a little bit different. They had uh, their own uniqueness. But reggae music resonated with me early on because of consciousness, the stuff that they were saying about what's really going on with uh, racial conflicts, political conflicts, relationships. They talk about everything. So that's, that's why I thought reggae was so dope. And then the beats, it was just so mellow and it gets you in the mood to think. So that's when I was really, really young. But most of my young years... It was rapping R&B, baby. Tyrese, it was Usher, it was name it. I was probably on, and music back then was so great because it, it was like, you had to go bootleg the music. Music had more value back then because didn't have all the social media that we have today. Didn't have a social media sites. <clears throat> so you couldn't just go hop on. Well, no, we had YouTube back then. Let me see. Early, early years there, there was no YouTube. There was no YouTube. Wait, let me see, let me see. YouTube, out oh, 2000. Boy, it didn't get big, 2008, 2006. Yeah, you had to go, you had to go steal the music. I mean, you had to go pirate the music. Music has so much value because your favorite artist, you wanted to hear what they were dropping. So, like I said, that's why I didn't have much access to Bob Marley because you literally had to have the money and I was broke shit. You had to go to the money, you had to have, have the money and go to the store and buy the CD. And I didn't have a car either, so I had to go get the bus money, then go get the CD money, and just, you know, whatever music I had my hand on, that's all I was listening to. Most of my music, I'm from Cali, so most of my music is West Coast music, so Concrete Jungle, when I first heard Con C Concrete Jungle from Bob Marley, man, the lyrics and how poetic this song was to me, I was like, wow, I was like, okay, I, I see where they're going. And just a man talking about black excellence, talk about, now I don't agree with his religious beliefs, but just talking about the political and social uh, perspectives, you better believe it. Let's see. The way the song starts off and the melodies and the instruments, like these, these are real musicians. Like he's an actual musician actually can play an instrument and you can sing. A lot of people don't know, really realize how hard it is for most people. Some people, I believe it just, just comes natural, you know, and I think it's, I think it also is, I think it gets easier over time, just like anything else, but just playing that instrument alone is hard and then singing and then making sure the chords match alongside other instruments, put it all together. Now, like I said, once you practice it, it becomes a whole lot easier. You know how he rocks. You know how your drummer's going to come in. You know how this going to come in. But, uh, let me see. Songwriter. So, this is written by Bob Marley, of course. And... The very first line when he said, No sun will shine in my day today. 
the high yellow moon won't come out to play. Darkness has covered my light. And the stage, my day and tonight. So he was talking about waking up in the concrete jungle. Which I can relate. That song res resonated with me because uh, Cali was on some other shit. The gangs and the the weird politics. And every time you're trying to make a move, you can't get out because it's so expensive. And you're just stuck in this damn cycle. And you, every day you're fighting to get out this cycle. And there's just absolutely no way out. <clears throat> Unless you really have to dig deep within yourself, but most, I don't say most people don't have it. Most people don't know how to tap into it. That's the thing. Everybody has it in them to get out. It's just a lot of people don't know how to navigate within themselves to get out the situation. So until then, until they figure it out, they're in the jungle. It's a concrete jungle. He said, where is the love to be found? And that's where he's talking about the murders. I think this is what Bob Marley was talking about, the murders in Jamaica. The murders amongst the blacks across the globe, Africa, uh, L.A., New York, Chicago, uh, Miami, Orlando, Jacksonville, New Orleans. Where is this love to be found? Where is this love to be found? Won't someone tell me? He's asking, will somebody tell me where this love to be found? Because we're in the jungle right now. There's no, he's saying... There's no love in the jungle. Everybody's out for themselves. Everybody trying to make a dollar. Everybody jacking, robbing, stealing. The police are crooked. The the government's crooked. The people are crooked. Pastors, are, everybody's crooked. There's no love. Or there's because when you, when you talk about love, you're talking about man going in the right direction. And he knows living in a concrete jungle, he's not going in the right direction. He said, where is this sweet life to be found? He's, so he's searching for love and he's searching for a better life. Instead of a concrete jungle, where the living is harder. Concrete jungle, concrete. So he said, in the, like I said, in the concrete jungle, life is much harder. Little resources, people starving. The politics. He said, oh man, you got to do your best. Now this 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 second verse, I don't know what it is about these second verses. They just go hard. I think the the first verse kind of uh brings the the listener in. But that second verse goes in for that cue. And I think the third verse kind of smooths every uh it's like a conclusion, concluding everything that they say. So the first verse, introduction, second verse. The meat and potatoes, the the background, and then the, the third verse, it smooth everything out, and like I said, it's a it's a crafty conclusion. You summon everything up for the listener. So the second verse, oh man, you got to do your best. No chains around my feet, but I'm not free. He said, I know I am bound here. He's bounded in the concrete jungle. I'm bound here in captivity, going back to the slave. And this is where I talk about, this is where white people, I think, have a disconnect. And if you, while you're watching, just hear me out. Don't don't jump off the deep. It's your fault. Your own people did this to you. Why are you blaming me? We ain't talking about you. Did you have any say? We're talking about the system. We all know there's a system in place, okay? Bob Marley see it. I see it. Everybody else can see it. And this is where a lot of, I think where the blacks and whites have disagreements is that black people don't understand that white people have their own individual day-to-day -day problems. We understand y'all have problems. We understand y'all got to pay bills just like us. But for you, even as a white person, the system is fucking over you as well. Excuse my French. The system that we're talking about is messing over white folks too. You ain't getting no pension. They tap into your SSI. The IRS don't just come for black people. They come for everybody. Once again, the IRS don't just come for black people. They come for all people. And if it's majority of white people in the United States, I mean, the IRS is mainly going after white folks. If we're only, and I don't think we're 13%, I think we're at least 25, but they don't want them numbers. They don't want to tell the truth about how many blacks there actually is in this country because they give us confidence and momentum. They don't want to have no momentum. It's all this is part of the concrete jungle that we're trying to express to everyday white folks. There is a problem in this country, and this problem doesn't just affect 
uh, black people, it affects white folks too. So if you're affected, how can you say you don't disagree with at least some of the things that we're saying? Going back, he say, no chains around my feet, but I'm not free. I know I am bound here in that. I I know I am bound here in captivity. Going back to the slavery. No chains around my feet. He's talking about the slavery, but there's a new system. You see, the old system was slavery, direct slavery, whips, chains. But the new slavery is through economics and lack of education. There's lack of resources. There's lack of education, and there's lack of prevention. How do we prevent? back up some how do we prevent especially our men from going to jail how can we prevent our men from going down the path of destruction you got all this in the concrete jungle concrete jungle this is why i oh man i love a lot of songs from bob marley but this, these one of them songs that hit home like you can see it you can smell it you can smell it i know i am bound here he's i'm bound here a lot of people in the jungle, they feel there's no escape and they just accept it that they're never going to get out. These are type of songs that resonate with you as a human being to have that daily struggle to understand that you got to know there's some things you can change and there's some things that you can't change. That's, that's what part 250 Jim Song is all about. Truth, direction, and serenity. Serenity means there's, there's some things you can change. There's some things that you can't change. But you ask God to give you the wisdom to understand the difference. Understand the difference between the things that you can change and understand the difference between, between the things that you cannot change. And this is where he said, I am, Bob Marley is saying, I am bound here in captivity and I've never known happiness. I've never known sweet caressness. Still, I'll always be laughing like a clown. I've never known happiness. Being in the jungle is not fun. It's not pleasant. And this is why the systems, even the system, all this is in the concrete jungle, wants you to be civil, wants you to walk around chipper when you got murders going on, when you got uh, teenage pregnancy, when you got kids starving, when resources and policies are in the benefit of the elites and the everyday working class gets nothing. There's no investment. There's you know credit card. Now you gotta remember this song was written uh 73, 72, 70. This is a long time ago. Things have gotten better for the most part, it's gotten worse in some areas. But you gotta remember this is before iPhone. This is be way before our time. This is way before our time. It was harsh in Kingston, Jamaica, Trenchtown. So he said, I never known happiness, I never known sweet caressness, but I'm still be laughing like a clown. Now, I think that part, laughing like a clown, you just, you know, you do your best not to let the concrete jungle devour you whole. You do your best not to let the concrete jungle devour you whole because, you know, they see you down. Nobody wants to walk through life like this because there's people out here that will kick you when you're down. So I think in this part where Bob, Bob Marley is saying, I'll be laughing like a clown, like, yeah, the concrete is hard, but I'm going to still live life and just do the best I can. I know I'm stuck here. But, you know, I'll laugh, I'll laugh off the things that I can laugh off. And that's deep. A lot of people accept it. They're not, they're not going to make it out. Concrete jungle. And the third verse kind of just repeats the, the first verse. Instead of a concrete jungle, where the living is hardest. Oh, man, you got to do your best. So, I really love this song. I really, really love this song. Uh... Just coming from the ghettos and coming from, and it's not even coming from the ghetto. Just everyday life is just hard, and, it's, and that's why I said the, the real music. This, this is real music to me. Y'all, y'all, let me know how y'all feel. This is real music to me for because everybody's struggling across the planet. People getting thrown out on their asses right now as we speak. I was watching NBC. I was watching CNN. I mean, the housing crisis. So it's hard. It is hard. But y'all, let me know. Uh, if you haven't heard the song, it's Concrete Jungle by Bob Marley. Uh, go check it out if you have heard it. Or even after you hear it for the first time, let me know what y'all think of this song. I'm gone.